everyone, so today I'm just going to be doing a really quick video on how to attach a snake lock to a vivarium. So I've just gotten this type of snake lock here. Uh, some of them, you can see this one I have here has one single screw on it holding it in place, if it'll focus. Whereas these ones I've gotten here have got two. So I'm going to try both of them and I'm going to see which one I think is the more secure of the two. I have a feeling it's going to be the two screw one, but we will see. I'm going to be doing this video as if you have never ever seen one of these before in your life because most likely the people watching this are going to be the people that have never had to fit one of these before in their life. So the way this works is the lock part itself, this is going to go over one glass pane. The other glass pane is going to come in front of it. So as you can see here, it kind of loops around one glass pane. This piece slides on and holds it. So if you try to open this part, it just won't go past either the bump here or the lock itself. So that way the snake, if there's a little gap, like with mine, there's kind of like a, a really small gap. It's not focusing properly. There's a very small gap there anyway. You can see it better at the top. Where if a snake really, really tried, they could shove their nose into it. And snakes are all escape artists, so they will 100% try to escape from somewhere. So if you have this, then it just gives you the peace of mind of knowing that they're not going to be able to shove it open because even if they get the little snoot in, they're only going to be able to open it up like a teensy amount and they will not be able to fit out. So it's just to make sure your snake doesn't escape, make sure that you're confident leaving your snakes alone and to make sure also that someone else can't break in, such as a dog or a cat. So it's just for the safety of all animals involved. This one's I've ordered here, it's got the actual locking mechanism part itself, like the little barrel. It's got the sliding piece that fits onto the glass, and then it's got the little sort of bolts, bolts? Yes, bolts, the other ones are nuts. Bolts that tighten it against the glass. On the end of the bolts, you can see there's this little sort of like rubbery plastic piece, and they've given me a spare one, which is nice. I don't know if they were meant to or if it's a, a fluke, but I'm okay with extras as long as I'm not missing pieces. Then there are not one, not two, but three keys. So I have ordered four of these. So I'm going to have, what is that, 12 keys? 12 keys altogether. Uh, so I will never get locked out with these tanks. So I'm going to be happy out with that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you're going to have this fitted onto the, the tank. Use your key. You go in, twist it, and it just slides off the end. So this is the part whoops, that I'm going to be fitting onto the tank. And I'll put this part on last. These little rubbery plastic bits, by the way, are just there to make sure that you don't scratch the glass in your tank and that if the lock does get pushed down or messed with by like a heavier bodied snake, that it's not going to scratch the hell out of your glass. What you're going to do is you're going to want to loosen the bolts on this and because I am using one hand to film and one hand to do this, I'm going to be putting down the phone and loosening those. If you want to remove them entirely, you're just going to loosen them there. And so what we're going to do is, I'm going to want them to face this way, so I need this pane of glass to be in front, and this one to be behind. So obviously if it's wrong, you can just slide that and slide that one back. So what I'm going to do is make sure there's no snakes about to have a run for it. Open this piece of glass all the way. And you're going to want to put this in between the two pieces. So I'm going to slide it here. I'm going to push it through. I'm going to tighten, if this will focus, Tighten both of the bolts as tight as I can comfortably do with just my hands. There we go. I'm going to want to pull this back. That's not moving, so that's perfect. Again, make sure, nope, never mind, it wasn't on tight enough. So we'll loosen it again just so it's easier for us to put back on. Wonderful. And again, tightening it. I'm going to put down the thing just to make sure I'm tightening it enough. Wonderful. We'll try it again. We're going to pull this back. Again, making sure there's no snakes trying to escape out of the corner there while it's open. Now that end's closed, and that end's closed, and we can take our bolt, or our barrel, or whatever it's called, and you just lift this off the glass slightly to fit in, and slide it across, turn the key, 
and you're good. And that will not come off. If in an absolute emergency you lose your key, you can still just remove this piece of glass. So your snakes are not caught in there indefinitely. There's still enough of a gap here that you can actually just lift the glass pane up into the track and remove it in case you do need to get in and you've lost your keys. So you can just lift it up, you can remove the little screws, slide it off and you're all good. So just in case of an emergency, your snakes are not stuck. But like I said, with this one, it came with three lots of keys. So I'll be putting one of those on my house keys, one of them on a hook beside the snake tanks, and probably the other one in just a drawer of random junk I have in case I need it. So we should be all good. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other eight. But yeah, that's how you put on the uh, a lock onto a glass viv. So I'm going to do that three more times now and then I'm good. So yeah. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my absolute best to help. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. And goodbye. I'm sorry, Snake, where's your face? There's your face. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna look like an absolute idiot here, but I was just about to go to bed and I have just fed all the snakes. Everything was going well. And, you know, pile of keys on my bed. You know, I could deal with that now. I was going to just pick them up and throw them into a key drawer or something. And I just realized that each of the keys has numbers on them. So this one is 308. And all three of the keys say 308. This one says 392. All of them say that. 381. And 363. The keys are individual to the locks. I did not realise this. I'm going to have to get a tiny hook for each viv and hang a key on each viv. Because any lock I've ever gotten before this has been like a universal key per se. Where if I get one lock... And then a month later, I buy another of the same brand of lock. The keys will work for all of them. Whereas this is the first time I've actually seen and like looking closer, obviously they're different cut keys. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've had actual individual keys. So I need to go uh, get some tiny hooks and hang little keys on each vid. What have I done? I was going to try them in each lock to see. At least I only have four. At least I don't have like 20 vivs that I need to now put keys in. But um, yeah, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing because now each individual key is to an individual lock. That, that's, that's handy. That's useful. It means the person next door, if they have snakes, can't come in just unlock mine. But now I have to color code or something. So yeah, um, make sure to take note of that.